I want to zero in today on this last part of the phrase, which is my title, believe his prophets and you will prosper. All right. Now that doesn't mean we believe the prophets instead of believing God. How many know if someone is a true prophet or if one is speaking the true word of the Lord by believing that person and what comes out of their mouth, you are in essence believing God, right? It's not just because the prophet is not the origin of the word. They are the vessel that brings the word. So in believing the prophets, you are believing in God, but how many know you still have to say believe the prophet because it's not like the Lord walked up to your door and in all his glory and gave you the word. In other words, a human vessel did that. And that would be one of the reasons why you would have to tell someone to believe the prophet. Uh, It's because people are very apt to dismiss a word from God because of the vessel that it came through. We recognize that's the truth. So I I just want the Lord to speak to me directly. Well, I do too, and he does. And he also speaks through other people. But if I'm going to dismiss a word from God, in this case, you think about the context, them believing the prophets and acting, believing the prophet and acting on that word of the Lord resulted in living and prospering. Not believing would have resulted in them dying. Okay, and so I, I tend to take it very seriously to think that God would speak to me. However he would, that he would give me direction, he would give me wisdom, he would give me instruction, tell me what to do. That's like a big deal. And, and if I recognize that, not only can I benefit from, from receiving words from, him, from heaven, uh, but I also may be spared in my life. And so I wanna take this very seriously, but again, why would you have to tell someone It's, you know, to believe the prophet, it's because we have a tendency to dismiss words that come through another person if we don't like the word. Or if our faith is weak and we just have a hard time embracing the word. It's like, ah, well, maybe that was just them. And if I miss it in that, in that judgment of whether it was the person or whether it was God, what I miss it in is I'm actually resisting or rejecting a word from God, which is designed to save me and cause me to succeed in life. And so the reason why this is often difficult is because the prophet doesn't necessarily walk a foot above the ground. Halo comes with a glow. In other words, kind of looks like everybody else. Kind of smells like everybody else. Kind of has a personality that I may or may not like. You know, kind of says it. Yeah, you could have said that a little bit in a really more gentle way, Mr. Prophet. Right? And then I, see, we have these obstacles that you really dwell in our own hearts. These obstacles to receiving the word of the Lord. And they had to be encouraged to believe it. Listen, guys, this was God who spoke. And if you'll believe his prophets, you're gonna prosper. 